Hey everyone, it's Jenny, and welcome back to my channel, The Story Ain't Over. So today I wanted to come to you with a, another like chill vlog. I know I just put up my chain of iron one, but I wanted to do a, another vlog and just try to get some more reading done. I feel like it'll motivate me a little bit to actually read and I have the full day to just film and vlog. So I'm hoping to do that. This is just gonna be like a single day vlog. And I am realizing that recently I've been like putting a lot of pressure on myself whenever I want to vlog because I feel like I need to finish like 300,000 books in like one video. But I was recently watching a few vlogs from some booktubers that I really enjoy and they all just kind of were being a little bit more chill and just like deciding to read a little bit of the books that they wanted to and I just really vibed with that. Like I always put this pressure on myself that I need to actually finish so many books within the vlog and that's not what I'm gonna do today. Well, hopefully I'll finish one book at least, but instead I just really want to get a taste of a few different books that I'm excited about. And I did put up a story on Instagram asking you guys what I should read for this vlog. And a lot of you voted for quite a few different things, but I wanted to show you all the books that I kind of put in that story. So a bunch of these I bought recently when I went to the bookstore the other day because I have zero chill and control and ended up buying a bunch of books at chapters the other day. One of which was Yoke by Mary H.K. Choi, which is her new book that just came out. And I'm actually super excited about this because so many of you replied and said I should read this and that it was super good. And a lot of people I trust read this. So I was like, okay, I definitely need to pick this up. And I actually did already start this the other day and I read about a chapter, but I like wasn't totally feeling it at the time. But last night I started listening to the audiobook and it is fantastic. And I am vibing so hard with the main character. And I wanted to actually tell you this one thing that she said, which I thought was so funny and relatable. But she was like, all I wanna do is peel off this costume, step into the shower, eat the world and go to bed. And I was like, yes. This is also how I feel. But this is also very much a Mary H.K. Choi book. Like it is so brutally honest and raw. And I love that about her books. And I think this one's gonna be no different, but this does deal with some very heavy topics. So just like be mindful of that. From what I know so far, it does deal with uh, one character having cancer and also with eating disorders. So I would just be careful of that and look up the triggers before you read it. So for this vlog, I'm definitely gonna be reading more of Yoke and I actually really wanna finish it. So we'll see. And I also just want to show you how like beautiful this book is. Like this is just the outside cover. And then if you take off the dust jacket, look at that. I don't know if you can see that, but it is gorgeous. Like the black and yellow. Oh my God. Yeah. I also just love the name of it, Yoke. Like beautiful. So yes, very excited to read this one. It's probably my main focus for today for this vlog to finish this book. But then a lot of you also told me to pick up The Gilded Ones by Namina Forna. And I actually really want to read this. And I think I was like sort of skimming through like the first few pages and like the tone of the story just seems like I will blow through it. So I'm very excited to pick this one up. And I think it's just going to be great. Like I've heard so many amazing things about it. So I'm going to probably pick this up and try to get through maybe 50 pages just to get like into the world today. And then out of the other books that I kind of put on my poll here, I think I'm most excited about Act Your Age, Eve Brown, which came in the mail the other day and I completely forgot that it was like coming out this month or else I would have just put it on my TBR. But this is the new Talia Hibbert book. It's part of her Brown Sisters series. So it's the like newest installment. And this follows the third sister in like the Brown sisters. And Eve is actually the one sister that I feel like I relate to the most, like from what I've seen of her in the past two books. So I feel like I'm really gonna enjoy this one. And this one's actually also an enemies to lovers situation as opposed to the other two. So I'm very, very interested to see how this goes. And Eve is also a little bit on the younger side as well, as opposed to Chloe or Danny. So yeah, I definitely wanna try diving into this a little bit to maybe get through like 50 to 100 pages. And yeah, excited. I will say though, one thing I have noticed about Talia Hibbert's books is that I find them quite slow at the beginning. Like it takes me a while to get into them. So I'm hoping I can like binge the first hundred pages to just really get into the story so that I don't like drag it over a long time. But yes, very excited. And I also kind of match it today in my Pride and Prejudice shirt. So yeah, I'm very excited. And then of course, if I end up having time, I might dive into some of these, but very doubtful. Okay, but that's all I have for this update. So I'm gonna go film a unboxing for another video and then come back to read. Hello, my friends. So I just did a little unboxing for uh, Luma Crate and Owl Crate, and it turns out the Owl Crate book of the month for February is The Gilded Ones by Namina Forna. So I just wanted to show off this beautiful edition to you guys, because I know I'm gonna be reading it 
for this vlog. But yes, I'm done sort of filming my sit down videos for the day, so I'm gonna start reading the books for this vlog. I'm so excited to dive into more of Yoke. My room is also a total mess, so I think I'm gonna listen to the audiobook and just sort of clean up. So I just want to stop for a little bit and tell you a little bit about Yoke. I'm at, I think, chapter 11, so I'm about 65 pages in, and it is fantastic, and I am just loving Mary H.K. Choi's writing. I love this about her writing in, like, her previous two books, and it just, like, seeing it in action again is just fantastic because she has this way of making her characters and her setting feel so, so distinct. Like, she gives you these very minute details that tell you everything about a person or about a place, and this is also set in New York-like permanent record, and I loved how she made the setting come to life, and this one is no different. So yeah, it's fantastic, and I'm just like in awe of her writing. And I also really love our main character, Jane. She is so like, um, like the word that comes to mind is damaged, but like I don't wanna say damaged, but she is like gone through a lot, and she is dealing with a lot, and she is going to therapy, but she's also a very like, distinct character. Like she has so many little quirks to her, and her relationship with her sister is just so complicated and I like love how Mary H.K. Choi like conveys that across the page like you can really think of Jane as like this very distinct character like you could imagine her in our real world in your everyday life and I that's just so cool to me but yeah I'm enjoying this a lot and I know it's gonna wreck me by the end because Jane's older sister June has cancer and it seems like she might die but I'm not sure so yeah, you know this from the beginning though, like that she has cancer. So yes, I'm very interested to see what's gonna happen. I really hope I don't cry, but I have a feeling I might, so we'll see. my friends so it's a little bit later I am like nearly halfway through the book I'm on page 169 so I'm on chapter 24 and this is so good right now I'm like relating so hard to so many things that the character says and like I've tabbed a bunch of things in the book just like her experiences being like Asian American um and also just like being, I don't know, her age, like in that college age is really relatable. And I've reached this part where like sort of a love interest has come in and his name's Patrick and I love him already. And 
I love their like banter, but also like the conversations that they're having. And it's just so great. And I, I just love it so much. And so I like was tapping so many things and they were just discussing how like, even though they're both Korean American and like have a lot of similarities, like because of, uh, you know, his wealthy parents, like he, his situation is a lot different. And it's just very interesting. And I love it so much. I know this is like, I can already feel it right now that this is going to be like a new favorite and I expect nothing less from Mary H.K. Choi and I'm just so so excited and like I just want her to like write more give me more content because everything she writes is just amazing so yeah I'm very excited to continue reading this I think I'm gonna go for a little bit more and try to get to like exactly halfway or maybe to like page like 250 or something like maybe another 100 pages and then I'm gonna try and read a little bit of Gilded Ones and also a little bit of what was the other book I was gonna pick up? Eve Brown, yes, Act Your Age, Eve Brown. I also want to start that. So yeah, I definitely want to get like at least fifty pages into both of those. But I also really do want to finish this. And it looks like I have only like seven hours left on the audiobook. And I am listening to the audiobook and sort of following along. But I am listening to it on like double speed because like that's kind of the speed that I read at when I'm like I reading. Yeah, it's probably only gonna take me like another three or four hours to finish this which is great because I should have enough time to read the other books but I think I might like stop in between and start those and then come back to this at the end of the night but we'll see yes that's my update okay so update I am 207 I think pages in and this book is so good I already said that but it's so good I've reached this part where like I, like, it's just so interesting seeing like June and Jane and like their relationship and how it's so complicated. It just so has so much baggage and like I just relate hard as someone with sisters and yeah it's just so interesting. And there's this element or this idea of Jane feeling like she is basically her sister or, or people perceive her to be her sister or like she feels like her identity is getting elided into her sisters since they were young and up until now and there's like a situation where it literally is getting elided into her sister's identity and I am losing it because it's just so like well done and like so poetic and like the, the metaphor is just coming to life and I, I love it so yeah it's amazing and I love how the cover and like everything just like brings this whole story concept together. It's like so artfully done and I am just so impressed. So yeah, that's how I'm feeling about this. I think I'm gonna listen to like maybe a couple more chapters and then try to pick up one of the other two books. In other news, I just found out from a Netflix notification that a drama that I really like that is like totally trash, but like so much fun called Love Alarm has a second season and it is out now, which I didn't know. So now I'm like really tempted to just binge it because it's like only eight episodes or like half an hour each, I think. Or maybe I'm wrong, they might be an hour each, but I was like trash for that first season. It was like simultaneously good, but also really trashy and like just so addicting. And so I know this second season is probably gonna be the same and I know it's gonna just give me pain, but I'm excited for it. So yeah, I might watch a little bit of that today, but we'll see. I feel like once I start, I won't be able to stop. So I'm probably gonna leave it for like the end of the day. Oh my god, y'all. Okay, so I just started The Gilded Ones by Namina Forna, and I am super excited about this, and I just read a chapter, and oh my god, my blood is already boiling right now with this because it's set in a fantasy world, and like, it's in this world where like women are very subservient to men and like they're like the main character is facing discrimination about her skin color because she's like from the south and she's not as you know light skinned as the northerners and this whole thing is just driving me up a wall but like I understand and I am I can't wait for her to just conquer everything and just throw all these people down because they are assholes it's just like you know it's a fantasy world so I was like slightly hoping that it would be less shitty than than our world but that's okay 
I will deal. But yes, um, I knew that she was gonna like face discrimination because of like her blood, but like the fact that she's also, you know, facing all of this other discrimination because of the fact that she's a woman and because she's like dark skin, like I am just <laughs> just wanna like throw something. But yes, so far I really like the like character's voice and I'm excited to continue. And then in terms of yoke, I'm on chapter 30 and I've kind of stopped there. I have about a hundred 150 pages left I think yeah it's or maybe like 130 pages left it's about like a hundred oh no I have about like 150 pages left so excited to finish that and I'll probably finish that tonight I think I want to try reading with my eyes for a little bit so I'm gonna read a few more chapters of this and try to get to like that 50 page mark and then we'll move to Eve Brown very excited about that but yes I'm also like washing my sheets now so I'm just like sitting on my mattress and it's very strange um but yes here we go Hello my friends, so <laughs> I have just gotten to page 50 on The Gilded Ones and holy shit, this is so dark. Like, I was not expecting how dark it is, but it's so dark. Um, so the main character goes for her ritual and like her blood runs gold and she's like revealed to be demonic of some kind and like we know all of this from the like description but then from there the village elders and like her father himself proceed to murder her or attempt to murder her only to realize that they can't kill her and it's like weird to them because usually the girls die within like the first few tries and this is something i did not know walking to the book because i had assumed that they just get cast out but apparently they actually get killed or you know, people attempt to murder them. And so she goes through like several different deaths. I think nine different deaths. Like she's, you know, beheaded and, and stabbed and dismembered. And like, these aren't shown in graphic detail or anything. Like she just kind of wakes up after having reformed. But like, that was dark. <laughs> and I'm just like astounded by how dark it was. But yeah, so I'm like very curious to see where the rest of this is gonna go um, and if it's gonna continue being quite dark but like yeah that was a ride i wasn't expecting that i'm excited though and now she's getting taken off to the emperors to fight against these creatures called death shrieks i think that's what they're called yeah it's very interesting so i've um gotten to page 50 on this i really want to finish yoke though but i'm kind of hungry right now so i'm gonna see if i can grab a snack and then maybe i'll start to act your age eve brown Hello friends. So as I said, I'm, I'm a little hungry right now. And then I was like thinking about what I wanted to eat. And then I remembered that on page 75, our lovely main character Jane mentions how she grabs the economy size five pack brick of Shin Ramyun Black by the corner of the plastic bag, bag and flings it onto the counter. And she, you know, talks about how she introduced her white um, boyfriend fling guy to um, Shin Ramyun Black because she loves it and it thinks it's amazing and it's like the um, Korean version of ramen. And so me being the psycho that I am remembered that I have Shin Ramyun at home and now I really want to make it and eat it. So that's what I'm gonna do. This is actually my favorite like ramen to eat. I always get like the Shin Ramyun brand and yeah, this is where we're at. I don't have the black version though, like Jane prefers, but it's all right. I feel connected to her in a very major way. So very excited to eat this now and then probably listen to more of that audiobook. Hello, my friends. So I have about a hundred pages left. I'm on page 278 or not actually 278. I'm a little bit further than that. I'm in chapter 37. I'm listening to the audiobook. So that's why I don't know what exact page I'm on, but something just happened and I'm just 
very upset right now. There's been a little bit of a twist and I did not see it coming and now I'm very angry and I just wanted to express that in some way. I can't say what exactly happened because I don't want to spoil anything in this vlog but I just wanted you to know that this is amazing and I'm in love with it and I love seeing June and Jane's relationship and like there's this whole part where they go back home to their family and that was just wonderful and I love that entire like section of the book. And now something has happened and I'm very upset. So here we are. I'm gonna continue listening because I think I really want to finish this now and then I think I'll like pick up actor age Eve Brown like at the end, um, read maybe 50 pages or maybe like the first few chapters just to like cheer me up at the end because I feel like this one's gonna destroy me. Hello, I'm just popping in to say I love how funny this book is. I thought it was gonna be a lot sadder than it actually is, but it's actually quite funny. Like, Mary H.K. Joy does like funny and comedy well and humor well, but like the banter that Jane and June have is just so wonderful and I love it so much and I just love the bond that's forming and yeah I thought this book was gonna be one that like makes me cry a lot at the end or like it was gonna involve some kind of dying but I feel like it's gonna be okay and now that I've said this I feel like I've jinxed it but so far we're doing good. My battery's about to die, but I just finished Yoke and that was freaking amazing and I'm, I cried and oh my god, I'm feeling so many emotions, but that was freaking amazing. Like one of my favorite books of the year, like ever. I, wow, that was incredible. I love the relationship between June and Jane and just everything that happens and oh my god, that ending was just, oh, and like getting to know more about her mom too is just amazing. I'm an emotional mess right now. My battery's gonna die. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Hello. So my battery totally crapped out. So I'm back here to say goodbye. Yeah, this book utterly destroyed me. And um, shout out to Chloe from Books with Chloe for um, telling me to read this and, you know, recommending it. This was fantastic and I'm holding it upside down. It was fantastic and amazing and like, is definitely one of my new favorites. Just like reading about June and Jane's like sister relationship and like learning more about their mother and that whole ending and I just <sighs> so I am too emotional right now to pick up anything else so I think I'm gonna end the vlog here but thank you guys so much for watching I had a really fun day today you know picking this up and also starting the Gilded ones that was really great and I can't wait to continue with that one and hopefully I can do another vlog for you guys maybe next weekend but we'll see but yeah until then like go check out my Instagram Twitter and Goodreads for more bookish content for me and just life updates and I'm always polling you guys on Instagram for more video ideas and things to do so go check that out and I will see you in my next video so please remember that this story ain't over. Bye!